Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Derek Brand Productions for another video. And based on the title and thumbnail of today's video, we have something pretty cool happening to the channel. And yes, a new vehicle will be here in about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, this is a vehicle I've never had in my life. Um, any genre of it, anything like that. Never had it before. You guys probably already know what it is. I've already threw some hints out there earlier this week, or well, last week. Um, I'm very excited. You know, I'm very excited. I did go and sell the Camry. I sold my staggered wheel setup for the Cobra. I sold a bunch of car parts. So, you know, I accumulated some side cash and I've always wanted something like this to just give it a try. And yeah, I mean, screw it. That's what we're doing today. We're, we're just sending it. What do you think about this idea? I'm jealous, dude. You're jealous? I can't believe you're doing it. Nah, don't be jealous, man. I'm jealous, bro. I mean, look at this bad boy. <laughs> she Tyler around breeding. We're currently waiting on the guy because he is delivering it, which was a plus. I really didn't have any way to go get it. About two hour drive, I think. So um, he should be here any moment and we're just gonna let the camera roll. And this is the new addition to the DBP fleet. It's happening, bro. I'm nervous though, because this is out of my realm. Like I'm um, not even gonna sit here and act like I know exactly what I'm doing because this could be the, the biggest mistake ever. Um, I'm nervous for you, dog. I'm ex I'm excited for you, dog. I'm jealous. I can't wait. Uh oh. What's that? It's all right. It's not the truck. It's not the truck. <laughs> How you doing, Derek? Good. Nice to nice meet you, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, you can just park wherever. Okay. Should be good. I'll pull on the golf cart. What's going on, man? Ooh. Damn. What is that? That's the new addition, man. That's the biggest mistake right there. You think? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Let's get a good look at this. Uh, All right, I got to put myself Dude, yeah, I don't know how you down it yourself. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> drop it for right off yeah. the truck. Yeah. No, it wasn't too bad. I backed up to a hill and uh, I was able to get it up there. Just sent it up there. Just sent it. Just rode it up there. Yeah. Damn. Well, All right. here it is, guys. This is the 2017 Kawasaki Z650. Uh, this is my first street bike ever. Again, this title and thumbnail, probably my worst idea ever, but you know, with bikes go with great respect and I'm just putting that on camera now, you gotta respect the bike, but you know, ever since Ben and Jordan got one, it was kind of in the back of my mind to to snag one. And I, you know, I rode Ben's around a little bit, his fit me perfect, and uh, I rode Jordan's. Jordan's a little bit bigger, just body wise. So, you know, I fell in love with, uh, with Ben's, the body size of his, did some research and uh, you know I found this one for sale and I think this is gonna be the perfect uh, first bike I can tell you right now it fits amazing already let's get this can flat foot it and 12 o'clock view of you there I like it a lot huh? I like it a lot yeah so do I you know so what everybody I. wants to know what what's the name oh we ain't got a name for this yet I ain't got a name yet. No name? Sir, that is definitely not a Grom. No, that ain't a Grom. It's a big boy bike. Which um, I'm stoked on, man. I got, God, it feel it fits me so well. It fits so well, which is sweet. I like it. I'm impressed. Yeah, this is the part I don't like though. She gone. Got to do the dues. Got to do the dues. Got to pay the dues. Yeah, these have been great tires. I got one. You uh, like them? Yeah, I have them on my bike. They're okay. they're pretty sticky. They're really sticky. Nice. They seem to last. Okay. Seem to too. Inspection can't expire if you don't have one. <laughs> yeah. That's it. As soon as that ink hits the paper, it's it. <laughs> it's yours now, dude. Yeah, it's here, man. It's here. I'm stoked. I'm super jealous, dog. Why? Are you, you never wanted a bike. Yeah. You got me about to go hit a lick. I'm about to hit a lick. Would right you now. actually get a bike, though? Like, like, how do you feel about bikes? I never really asked you. I love bikes, dude. I've always wanted one for a long time, dude. 
kind of one of those lifelong dream things, you know? But I man. mean, it, it, I wouldn't say it was a dream of mine. I was always scared to get one. But, I mean, I just want to, I like, I like experiencing shit. I really do. Yeah. I like, I just like trying new shit. And I know a lot of people right now are watching this video saying you're going to kill yourself. Like, you're going to do, like, trust me. Like, I, I know, like, I know to respect this thing with, you have to respect it. And it you're doesn't gonna, matter if it's a 900. It doesn't matter if it's a 1200, a 600, a 300. You'll kill yourself on anything. Yep. So I understand that. Trust me. So, uh. All right. Um, um, here. You take you, this. I'm about to go hit a lick real quick, dude. You got me fucked up. What? I'm about to go hit a lick, dude. You got what me do you fucked mean? up. You want one now, don't you? I want you? a bike, dude. I'm about to go hit a lick, dude. I'll be back. Well, hit me up later, D. All right, dog. <laughs> Squeaky ass thing. Don't worry about my shit. Look, I'm about to knock your shit over. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm going to hit a lick. Dog. What do you mean? <laughs> the golf cart, though. <laughs> Fucking geeks, look at him, he's gone. I think I'm barely gonna make it up the hill. <laughs> what the hell? You have got to be joking. I had to hit my leg, dog. What the hell is that? I had to hit my leg, B. Hey, you couldn't do this show without me, dog. We're in this shit together, B. <laughs> <laughs> You're wild, bro. It's sweet. It looks dope. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> don't even, I don't even, I have no explanation as to how we got here. Um, maybe Tyler can try and explain it to you. I gotta go help this guy. Um, I'm coming, Brett. Oh, so we've been talking about this for a long time now. I'm sure you've heard little hints at it on the channel and everything here and there. And it just came down to one night, really. One night we really dug into the thought process of it. And, you know, and we figured if we're going to do it, we need to do it together. So we got the money right. Derek sold some things. He got his stuff. I talked to my bank. He found what he really wanted. And I found what I really wanted. And we made it happen, dude. We both got them. We bought them the same day, but he was out of town. So his came a little bit later. I've actually had mine for about four days now. Uh, just timing, but we just had it hidden because, you know, we wanted to do this together. It's actually first time riding it. You know, I waited. Yeah, man, we got bikes, dude. He says he doesn't have a name, but yeah. This is a KTM Duke 390, 400cc. Nothing crazy. It's got a lot of torque, though. It's going to be perfect for me to learn on. Some people may know what it is. Some people might not. It weighs about 350 pounds. You know, so it'll be perfect for what I need. Um, So everybody, meet Chester Cheeto. We had Brett with Critique Car Care come by. Spicing up Hades a little bit after that long road trip. Thing is disgusting. That is uh, an understatement. Understatement? That is an absolute understatement. <laughs> Was it pretty bad? Uh, this is pretty bad for at least for what I see in a day. This is uh, this is chalked. <laughs> this is absolutely chalked. Critique car care. I appreciate Go it. Go hook them up if you're in the Richmond area. Hello. Hello, Jordan. Hello, Derek. Talk to me. How are you? Fine. You're fine? Yes. Yeah? Well, guess what? What? I'm on my helmet right now. I can tell. And I'm recording your voice. Mm. Ramita, shut the fuck Okay, buddy. I just wanted to test this. You're ugly. Love you. Bye. Bye. Alright. We're boys, right? Yeah. We boys? Yeah. We got bikes and shit, right? We do that shit together, right? Hold on. Let me pause this. That's not allowed to go on here. What the f- what are you talking about? So we're boys and shit. We got bikes together, right? Yeah. Talk the shit out for a minute. Right? Yeah. Alright, bet. Hold this. What- what the- this dude literally calls me. He's like, yo. I gotta come upstairs and show you something. And he, I open the door. He's like, oh, I have nothing to show you. I'm just coming to chill. And now he's grabbing something. Like, we're boys, right? Bro, what you the got me, I got you, right? Sure, yeah. You sure? <laughs> okay. This is a little gift to you for, you know, the beginning of our journey together on these bikes, though. Bro, you bought me something? Why the fuck did you buy me something? Let's open it up, B. Dog, what the fuck? Does, dog. Oh, is this like, are you coming out or something? Is yeah, this there's like... a big-ass dildo in there. Why are you buying me shit? What is this? 
Are they shoes? Oh shit, you bought these, bro. Yeah, these are fire. No, like, why'd you buy me these? Cuz, bro. You dude, need dude, fucking cool gear. I, I owe you a favor for something you did a while back. For the headset? Yeah. I appreciate these that. These are dummy. Did you get my size from Romina? Yeah. Dude, these are these are actually really dope. Bro, you did not have to buy me fucking shoes. Bro. Now, these don't come in half sizes. Everything no, said everything said go a point the half size up. Dude, these are fucking pimp. Sorry, everybody. I look like a bum. These are good. Protective. Oh, shit. Do they fit all right? Yeah, yeah they fit. Damn, bro. Why the f How These things were expensive as fuck. That's all right. They're fire though. This motherfucker's buying me shit. Don't even have a helmet yet. Hey, helmets on order. You need to lock it the fuck in helmets because on we order. can't ride with a fucking shoe on your head. Helmets on order. We're good to go. We're locked in. But I can't be having you ride not in these fucking vans with your ankles hanging out. And Bitch, shit. what? Are you I'm about to skate these. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate it, bro. What the fuck? Them junks are dummy. Damn. I wonder if I could uh. I'm gonna wear them, I'm gonna wear them just like this. <laughs> I'm not about to buy another man some jeans and shit like that, but kicks, <laughs> kicks is a whole different ball game. Wow, these are, these are, these are, it's gonna be weird. You can tell they're protective, so yeah. they're like thick as fuck. Wow, dude, thank you. Got some fucking riding shoes now. Ain't no, ain't no breaking my ankle. All right, we're fucking locked in, Man, dude. we are locked in. You didn't have to do that, though. That's wild. Fucking $200 <laughs> shoes. That you're fucking bugging. Well, I definitely wasn't expecting that. That was super cool. Tyler, thank you so much. I'm definitely going to put those to use, especially with the new Z650 over there, which, uh, you know, I just want to go ahead and say that it's always something I've wanted. And in the beginning of this video, I mentioned that respecting the bike is the most important thing ever which i plan on doing guys and you know i just wanted to try something a little new cars are cool and all but motorcycles are also cool i've never had one um i've had a dirt bike that's about it so uh, that's why you know me and the squad pretty much got bikes and stuff and we're gonna start doing some moto vlogs i have my helmet set up nearly done everybody else is getting their gear getting their bikes and stuff um so it's gonna be a fun learning experience a fun time and some fun new content and don't worry, this isn't gonna overpower the car content. Lucifer, Hades, Karma, like that's priority. This is just gonna be some bonus content that we throw up on the channel, maybe here and there of some moto vlogs. So if you guys are excited for that, let me know. But um, yeah, the shoes definitely caught me off guard. And another thing that caught me off guard, well, is this. So this little booger right here followed me home last night. Um, I parked the car and I heard a meow. I look over and this little sweet girl, little calico cat. I'm talking to you, you're on vlog. But this little calico followed me home and you know, I, I wouldn't say she's any older than five months, maybe six months, somewhere in there. And uh, you know, it was like 1230 in the morning and I was about to go upstairs to sleep. But like I said, I parked the car and she ran up on me and followed me all the way back to the garage and I left the garage door open for like a good hour like sitting here until 1.30 because you know I didn't want to just like you know catnap her but she didn't want to leave and I slept out here on the futon with her because I'm not that type of person to just kick her out and and let her roam the streets and not feel loved and not have a place to stay so she's been hanging out in the garage for you know the past day I opened up the garage door and sit out there with her and she absolutely loves just sitting out in the sun and and stuff so uh yeah this is another predicament i'm in you guys know i love my cats we got dex and zeus upstairs so i'm not saying anything yet i'm not I'm, we haven't really discussed it it's just it kind of happened um i took her to the vet today and got her scanned she does have a chip but the chip wasn't registered um she is fixed which you know those are those are two things already ahead of the game but she's just out here living got her little litter box food water and it's beautiful in here like it's you know it's like a little home in here so you know she has a nice blanket and stuff but i don't know i was thinking i was thinking of calling her twix you know she has that calico color scheme white black brown tan just like a twix bar you know let me know what you guys think i should do definitely in a situation but 
Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Absolutely love y'all. Make sure you go watch Monday's video where I took Hades to Charlotte and got some runs in against a Gen 3 MT82 car. I thought that video would have done a little bit better than it did. Um, I guess the thumbnail and title probably wasn't that good, I suppose. So if you haven't watched that, go run that up. And uh, we'll see you later this week, guys. Take care.